नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मिस्टर वाई इज एस्टिमेटिंग प्राइस ऑफ रिलायंस टू डिक्रीज सो ही इज एंटरिंग इन टू अ फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद मिस्टर एक्स फॉर हाईलाइट द क्वेश्चन सेलिंग शेयर ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई एट अ प्राइस ऑफ रुपीज एट हंड्रेड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई स्पॉट प्राइस ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी डिफरेंट प्राइसेस आर गिवन टू अस फॉर मिस्टर वाई वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक टू कैलकुलेशन प्रॉफिट और लॉस एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू शो द डायग्राम एवरीबडी जस्ट गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन प्लीज डियर स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हियर अगेन द क्वेश्चन इज साइलेंट अबाउट द डेट ऑन विच द ट्रांजेक्शन इज एंटर अपॉन वॉट एवर द डेट ऑन विच द ट्रांजेक्शन इज एंटर अपॉन The transaction is entered upon for thirty first of July. This time the transaction is let's say you are going to sell the underlying asset. What is the price? The price is eight hundred. Listen me carefully. See there are definitely the chances that say during this time, Mister Y is able to purchase underlying asset at a price less than eight hundred, so that say he will be having a sure profit. at this point of time however we will always assume that during this time period security will not be purchased mr y will in a way that say for the purpose of notional profit or loss calculation mr y will purchase the security on 31st of july at the spot market price and it will be sold at the rate of 800 that is the kind of assumption that we will have throughout for the purpose of making calculation of the profit or loss i request you to write to write on heading forward seller in the write down first point for the purpose of notional profit or loss calculation we will assume that Mr. Y will purchase security on thirty-first of July at spot price, comma, to be sold. at forward price that on heading calculation of profit or loss for mr y for different spot price of equity share column number 1 is spot price on 31st of july column number 2 is sale price third column is purchase price and the last column is profit or loss The different spot price are given as zero, seven forty, eight hundred, nine hundred, and ten thousand.
I request you to complete the table and send photo of the table to me on my WhatsApp. So friends, what will happen? 800 rupees is a price at which you are going to sell. And you are going to purchase the security at the spot price. So we'll have the profit or loss. It is 800, 60, 0, 100 negative and over here 9200 negative. That is the way we'll have the profit or loss. So I request all of you to draw the diagram. So friends, again we will start with on x-axis it is the spot price of equity share. And on y-axis, we take the profit or loss. We can see that say when the spot price is zero, there is a profit of 800. So we basically start from here. When the spot price increases, you can see that say the profit reduces. There is a break-even point. Profit is converted to loss. And there is a huge loss. It means, dear students, so the diagram will go like this. This is what we understand is the break-even point. That is 800 in this example. I request you to write in the chat box that under what market condition an investor would enter into forward sale contract. This is unlimited loss. Under what market condition a trader will enter into forward sale contract? So dear students, basically what will happen when a trader is expecting that the price of the security will fall at that time, say he is entering into or the trader is entering into the transaction for sale. If at all his expectation is fulfilled, then in that case, of course, he will make a profit. And if at all his expectation does not fulfill, then in that case, say he will be incurring a loss. So considering, say, let us say that say, the news of a company or considering that, say, uh, the future perspective of any company or industry, you're expecting the price will fall, you may enter into the transaction for sale. Let us answer the question. Let us answer. Whenever a trader is expecting from a price of security to fall comma, the trader will enter into forward sale contract, full stop. Second point, forward seller will have a maximum gain equal to forward price stop maximum loss 
is not restricted. There are chances of unlimited loss. Understanding the forward seller. Uh, forward seller is basically a trader who has entered into the transaction to sell the underlying asset. What is the price at which the security that is underlying asset is going to be sold is predetermined. The time period after which the transaction will be taking place is also predetermined. So Mr. Y is going to uh, purchase the security on that date only from the spot market to be sold at the rate of 800. If the prices are less, prices are falling down, then there will be a profit. If the prices are going up, then in that case there will be a loss. That is the way, so the resultant profit or loss will be calculated. This is the way we have even the diagram. Basically, a trader who is entering into the transaction for forward sale, it is also given a name as, say, entering into the short position. When you enter into the transaction for buy, it is called long position. And when you are entering into the transaction for sale, it is called short position. So, you will enter into the short position if you are bearish that the price of the underlying asset will fall down. That is what we understand.